And finally, new rule, white liberals have to start listening to me when I tell them you can't be more offended than the victim. It happened again last week when presidential contender Andrew Yang faced criticism because he said that SNL should not have fired comedian Shane Gillis over racist comments Gillis made about Asians. That's when the Internet did what it does best and deemed Yang a racist for, n <laughs> for not being offended. Because if he wasn't offended, well, someone had to be. <laughs> There was a study done last year where people were asked to rate their feelings about various races, and white liberals were the only group that has a bias against themselves. <laughs> they want to hang out only with people who are not them. That's like your mother preferring the neighbor's kids. <laughs> there is a <laughs> weird self-loathing going on among white liberals, and it's not helping anyone. Lifting up those whose society has cheated or forsaken, that's liberalism. Hating all things white is just tedious virtue signaling. You look like Justin Timberlake in Bad Teacher. I just hate slavery so, so much. Slavery's the worst. If I could go back in time and undo slavery, I would. I hate it. The answer to mass incarceration is to stop putting undeserving blacks in prison, not to put more white people in Twitter jail. <laughs> Every thought needs a disclaimer now. The other day I heard a guy say, I realize I'm only speaking as a white male and I acknowledge our tragic history of oppression, uh, but you left your lights on. <laughs> Look, white privilege is real. And yes, you have some advantages for being white, but you also have some disadvantages. Many of you were born with a terrible personality. <laughs> no. No, that's not right. Oh. Yeah, I think that. That's not... I didn't ask for that. I'm oh. sorry. That's, they knew. Uh, you know they what? Knew. No, that's... No. I'm well, sorry. I'll fire the director. <laughs> But, folks, you don't need to advertise it. What's, what's with the I'm embarrassed to be white subgenre on the Internet? I'm finding myself constantly embarrassed to be white. I'm watching Tall Girl. I've never been so embarrassed to be white. Retweet if you're embarrassed to be white. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Rosanna Arquette tweeted, I'm sorry I was born white and privileged. It disgusts me, and I feel so much shame. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You think it's hard being a black man in a white man's world? Try being a white woman who feels bad about you being a black man in a white man's world. <laughs> Look, none of us chose to be born white. Not even Ed Sheeran. <laughs> so just stop. Because you know what might be the worst part of white shame? You bore the fuck out of black people at parties. <laughs> You meet black people and say things like, Black Panther was so meaningful to me. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It wasn't a cultural milestone for you. I have taken an informal sampling among some black folks I know, and the consensus seems to be awareness, yes, is great. White people certainly should acknowledge they've had an easier go of it. But black folks are not asking whites to always be flagellating themselves, because it makes everything awkward. <laughs> awkward. It puts the burden on black people to absolve you. It's really... It's... It's... It's really asking black people to, again, do something for you. Forgive me. Absolve me. Recognize that I'm one of the good white people. Jesus. Haven't black people suffered enough slavery? <laughs> Jim Crow, and now, now I gotta make some yuppie feel better about himself? As a black friend of mine said, and I quote, I'm doing aight. I don't need your pity. Here's my question. How many white liberals would pay actual reparations? Real money, 
taken out of your paycheck every week. If you really feel this bad about the whole race thing, if being white is really this toxic for society, let's tax it. <laughs> let's tax whiteness. <laughs> A hunky tax. We'll do it like carbon offsets. We'll calculate your exact level of white lameness <laughs> and then charge, <laughs> then charge you a Caucasian offset fee <laughs> based on a mean percentage of household income indexed to the net, not gross national product, and averaged with the consumer price index. <laughs> we will come up with just the right dollar figure to offset the exact amount of you being a fucking loser. <laughs> A lame, white loser. Now pay up, you fucking white piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking worm. I mean, that's what you want to hear, isn't it? Isn't it, maggot, you fuck? <laughs> you want to be told what a disgusting piece of white shit you are, you white piece of shit? <laughs> you getting into this. <laughs> Look. In conclusion... I just want to say, America has done a lot of good things and a lot of bad ones, and the number one bad one, with no close second, is racism. It's a sorry history, and we're not done with it. And yet, black and white increasingly intermingle. We get to the finish line on race by just being with each other more. We don't need awkward. We need laughing with each other, finding out what's good about each other, befriending, intermarrying, enjoying somebody's company without thinking every minute, I'm with a person of color. <laughs> You're with a person. <laughs> you... And you are not uncool just because you're white, and it is not a crime to know all the words to Sweet Caroline.